Hello and welcome back to Smart Spain, Information Technology Blog. Today we are continuing work on the Linux operating system and how we can use on a daily basis. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we can use Brace Expansion characters on a daily basis. So, if you're interested, stay with me and I'm going to show you how. So before we're gonna jump into using curly braces, I want to give you some brief explanation where you can where you can do with that and how you can apply this in the practice. So by using curly braces, you can expand out a set of characters across file names, directory names, or other argument you give commands. For example, if you wanted to create a set of files such as memo1 through the memo5, you can do that as a follow by typing the following command which is attach and give it the name of the folder that you wish create in my case it's going to be memo folders like I said before and give it the number like an extension so that you can uh, see the difference which one is which right so I'm gonna give memo1 folder memo2 folder memo3 folder memo4 and memo5 and by hitting enter you can see that we have created a memo1, memo2, memo3, memo4, memo5 folder. Uh, I mean like files. Sorry guys, it's a file. It's not a folder. It's not a directory. The directory, the blue one. And as you can see that guys, it's much easier and convenient to use a touch command like I told before in the previous uh, tutorial. It's much convenient to use it if you want to save your time and multiply your work and your duties during your um, <clears throat> just managing your time right um, so let's see let let's for example you want to create the names or like like longer names not just the numbers in my case it's just the one that just provided it's one of the quickest way so let's use the same touch command but with the longer extension names for the file that we have to uh, create like for your daily work for instance okay I'm gonna do like so touch um, curly braces open then I'm gonna give it some like name of the um, any name right for instance I'm gonna give John um, let's say John then after that Bill uh, what else Sally and uh, let's close it down the curly braces and give it like hyphen for instance right and uh, curly braces open again and I'm gonna give it uh, for John for instance I want to name it so John name is gonna be corresponding for instance to to the breakfast and Bill is gonna be corresponding to the lunch and Sally is gonna be corresponding to the dinner uh, whatever you want to name so I'm gonna just uh, I, I gotta explain what I'm doing after let me just finish typing so uh, like I said breakfast um, break uh, fast then lunch then dinner right and as soon as you hit enter and use a command list command you should see that we have created memories for memo folders that we have created previously and we have created like I told before John corresponding um, um, Let's say John, Bill, Bill, Lunch, Bill, John, Bill, everything. Uh, all of them, each of this name corresponding to each of this, uh, to each of this, for instance, like John corresponding to breakfast, John corresponding to uh, to lunch, and John corresponding to dinner, and Bill corresponding to the breakfast, uh, to lunch and dinner, and Sally, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so on. So as you can see, we just paired them one by one so that you can easily um, differ differ dif differentiate them let us assume that I have made some mistake during the associate the, the uh, this Bill uh, John and uh, um, John and Sally names with a lunch breakfast or dinner and I have made some crucial mistake whatever which I don't want to be here anymore and I want to just delete all of it and just redo it all over again so how are we gonna do this in this case by typing command rm which stands for remove space hyphen f 
and we have to give it the specification which file I would like to remove so in my case I want to remove uh, I want to remove uh, um, John, Bill, Sally and the breakfast, lunch and dinner which I have created previously so we have to open up the races again and type it in the same exact procedure and spelling like we did before so John after goes Bill right Bill and after that goes Sally curly braces close down and after that hyphen and curly braces open again so after that she goes break uh, break fast then lunch and then dinner uh, curly braces closed and as you can see that we have just removed all of them at once by using remove space hyphen f command so that's in case you guys if you did some crucial mistake in creating multiple files at once and you just figure out that you made a mistake and you don't want to be this mistakes by just picking and removing one by one so that you can just use the rm command and hyphen f so you can delete all of it at once Let's assume that I want to create multiple files, like starting with the one letter and finishing with the, and finishing by the end by the different letter. And each letter is going to be corresponding to different numbers. How we can do this by using touch command? Uh, let's I'm going to show you guys how we can do this. Okay, by using touch command, touch command, uh, space curly brace open. Then, for instance, A. 1 dot 2 dot and let's say it's gonna be finishing with the F letter finishing by not not a with F letter finishing by F letter so curly braces closing down then curly braces up and I'm done put any hyphens in this case in that case we're gonna do different way and curly braces open one number then dot dot phi for instance and curly brace. As you can see that, so each letter, which is A, is going to be corresponding to one dot, which is corresponding to next dot, corresponding three, and so on till five. And F is going to be corresponding to one, two, three, four, five. And so if you want to see result by hitting enter and using a list command, you can see that we have created A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, C1 until the F is finished. So you can do by, you can finish even by alphabetic numbering. So from A till Z or if you want to make a long list or if you want to name it like John, Bill, Silly, um, like each name corresponding to different name or different folder, you can play around with that the way you like it. I just show you the way guys how you can multiply one file with a different file at once and create an thousands of files for instance at once by using just the touch command and curly braces. So I I just just wanna just wanna explain what I'm down here. So in the first example, the use of two set of braces means John, Bill, and Sally each have file name associated with the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if I had a, ma a mistake, like I said before, I could easily recall the command and change touch to remove command space hyphen f to delete all of the files. In the next example, uh, the use of two dots between the letters a and f and numbers 1 to 5 spaces the range of the use and notice that the files that we created from those a few characters this is it guys and i hope you understand how you can use curly braces with attach command by your daily 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 basis work with the linux operating system and how you can manage your files and create and multiply them and correspond them with each other by using touch command. And I hope you guys like this video, so please subscribe to our channel or hit likes 
and I'll see you guys in the next part.